Hello, this eHelp video is an overview of the ESI web phone, which is offered on ESI's eCloud solution. Before we jump into looking at the web phone, I want to give you some tips on how to set up web phone so that you have a positive um, user experience. So let's jump in with some key notes. Um, the uh, soft phone, which is the ESI web phone, can handle up to two phone calls and you access the web phone from eConsole. So when you go into eConsole, there will be a link you click on that will open up web phone in a different window. The good thing about that is that you can actually close eConsole and not have to keep that up and running. And I will show you that um, a little further into the video. You can use the web phone with Premier Select or Metered Select seats. I realize you may not be aware of the type of seat that you have. I'll give you a tip in the video on how to check that out. Um, but the good thing is that the web phone is not limited uh, to a specific kind of seat type. Um, you can use it pretty much with anything. All right, so compatibility and permissions type concerns. So the ESI web phone is actually based on what is called WebRTC. And WebRTC at this time in the industry is only supported in a Google Chrome browser. Therefore, you can only use the web phone in a Chrome browser. You must have access to a microphone. So whether you're using your laptop or you have a desktop PC, you have to be able to give the Chrome browser um, access to a microphone on behalf of the web phone. If you do not do this, then the web phone may be able to launch, but it will never register and therefore be unusable. In the video, I will show you how to enable or give permission to a microphone. The other good thing is the microphone is not specific to web phone, meaning you're gonna to wanna to pick the microphone that's suited for your PC or your laptop. It could be the one that's built into your laptop, for example, or it could be a headphone with microphone that you um, plug into your PC. Okay, answering roles. So the default um, answering role for anybody, for any user is that calls will ring your extension and go to your voicemail if it's unanswered. With, if you still have that default answering role, which there's nothing wrong with that, but if you still have that default answering role, it, it's going to need to be updated so that it will allow calls to go to your web phone. So for example, my extension is 2112, but my web phone is extension 2112 WP, WP for web phone. And so you're gonna to wanna to have that set up. The good thing though, is that the web phone understands this and will alert you when it sees that you have still the default answering role. And all you have to do is a one click of allow in that pop-up box and you're good to go. There's no special understanding of answering roles to get that all enabled. Okay, and just in case uh, this comes up or you're curious about it, um, the web phone is not supported on a smartphone Chrome browser. So for example, let's say I go into my Android smartphone, I launch a Chrome browser window, log into eConsole, and then launch my web phone from there. You may see it come up, but the functionality within the smartphone is not supported. I can tell you that on an Apple device, you will not even be able to launch the web phone. So therefore using the smartphone within, uh, I'm sorry, using web phone within a smartphone is not supported. Plus you really shouldn't need to do that anyway because we do offer an e-mobile client called ePhone Go. Okay, so um, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into web phone. And again, this is just an overview um, to give you your um, settings um, and how you access a web phone. And then there will be another video that goes into the details on all the different call handling. Okay, so I am in my eConsole, and I'm going to go up here to the upper uh, left corner, and I'm going to actually go to my account. Now, before I do that, notice here it says that I'm an office manager, and it has my extension. So this is where it'll actually tell you what kind of seat type that you have. And again, if you're still confused about that or you don't understand and you want to make sure you have a suitable, um, uh, suitable seat type, and just contact your site administrator. Okay, so I'm going to click over here to my account. And when I do that, it's going to give me various options, right? So I actually want to go to my web phone as opposed to maybe a tenant console or profile. So when I click on the web phone, 
it is going to launch in the small window that you see before you. And notice there's a couple of things going on. First of all, up here, it's allowing or asking you to give permission to Chrome browser to use the microphone, which we want to do, because if I don't do that, then the e or, uh, web phone will not register. Okay, so we'll click Allow. Now, go, going down here, it's going to give you a couple of pointers on key areas of the app. So right down here in the corner of the window is a plus sign, and this is where you would start a new call, start a new conversation like a chat or an SMS. So that's good to know. I click Next, and it tells me up here, hey, there's another button up in the corner that gives you access to your profile, which you may want to go and edit or update that information. And so I click Done. And there we go. Now I'm in my web phone and I can use it. Okay, so notice over here in the corner, there's a little uh, white handset icon. So that icon is telling you whether your web phone is registered. If it's white, it's registered, and so you're good. If it is not white, then there is a problem. Um, that, therefore, you'd want to get with your site administrator. And of course, they run into trouble. They know um, how to get in touch with the site to get that resolved. Okay. So the view that you're looking at here, again, is the uh, basic or default view of um, web phone. And while I suspect that a lot of people are going to want to use it in this view, I find that people understand web phone better and how to use it when I show them the maximized view. So that's what I'm going to do. So up here in the corner um, of the window, there's a maximize button, just like you'd have on any kind of document or window on your PC. So I'm going to click that. And you can see how it opens up uh, the web phone in a different wider layout. Okay, so notice over here in the corner, upper right corner, we've got our same registration icon it is white, but it also has the additional um, green circle around it. Um, and it will turn red if it's unregistered. Um, so just an extra tip there. So again, this is just an overview. So let's walk through um, the general layout of the web phone and how you access certain areas. So over here on the left-hand side, you have your all your various options. So you have contacts. These contacts consist of your coworkers, and we also provide station status for your coworkers. Like here, I can see Zach is, um, his phone is registered and he is idle because it's green. If it were red, it would mean he's busy. So it has your coworkers, it has personal um, contacts or meaning non coworkers um, in your list, whether you imported those into e console or you add those manually, it doesn't matter. It's going to pick all those up in here. Then you have your call history. Um, pretty standard stuff. It shows you whether you've got an inbound, outbound, or missed call. It gives you your caller ID, uh, date, and duration, uh, that sort of thing. Then you have your voicemail. Again, pretty standard. It's got all your voicemail, caller ID, date, and time. Also, if you happen to have transcription enabled on your domain or for your site, you'll actually get a transcription snippet here um, in the voicemail, which is really good. Um, remember that uh, if you didn't know, the, trans the full transcription of a voicemail is emailed to you. So here it'll show a snippet, but then when you get your email, it'll have the full uh, transcription. Okay, then you got um, chat and SMS here. Uh, so chat is internal chat. That means you can chat with um, other e-console users on your domain. And SMS uh, is where you from web phone or from e-console that you can send a SMS text to um, other users outside the company, such as uh, maybe customers or clients that are using their smartphone, you want to send them a text. Um, so very handy here. Answering rules, you do not create answering rules in web phone. You ha still ha have to do that under um, e-console, but whatever those are and created in e-console, those will all appear here. And what you do is when you um, have a list of various answering rules, you go here and move the answering rules around so that they are in the proper flow that you want your answering rules to be used. Okay, the greetings, this is pretty cool. Um, I'll show some more detail on this in the other video, but your greetings, again, whatever greetings you've recorded will appear here, but within web phone, you can actually record new greetings and you can have unlimited greetings and then you hop around between those greetings based on you know, what it is you are doing, whatever state you are in, okay? 
Um, under your settings, really the main thing here is the ringtone. Um, you have various ringtone options, and this would be the tone that plays on your PC when a call comes in. Um, so you can click on any of these um, icon, not icons, but bullet points here, and it will actually play the tone and you can decide which one you want. All right, so you lastly, you have your logout here, which of course we're not gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna go back over to contacts. Uh, so um, up here, this view that you're looking at now, um, being on contacts, this is the default view when you open up your web phone. Therefore, I consider it, excuse me, I consider it kind of like the home page, the home view. Now, outside of the information that you have in here and the different contacts and information, you have this large body of space in the um, maximized view. And this is where different cards will be placed. So things like an active call or an active text and an active SMS. You'll see in the uh, detailed video how you can place those various cards within this large body and uh, manage various conversations at the same time. It's actually pretty cool. All right, this card that you see here is called a summary card and it pretty much does what it says. It's summarizing what's going on with your uh, station. You have 21 new voicemails, nine missed calls, and zero unread conversations. And conversations means either chats or SMS text. It also um, tells you what your answering role is right now. So if you think maybe your answering role at this moment should be the lunch answering role, and yet it says a default, then you know something's not right. You can go in again over here to your answering role and you can adjust that. All right, so down over here in the lower corner um, is a orange uh, plus sign. This is probably the um, number one biggest uh, point of the uh, web phone because this is where you can initiate um, phone calls and conversations and such. So when you click on the plus, you have a little dial pad icon. And notice when I have over, it says new call, so you can kind of figure out what it does. But this is where you would actually place your outbound call. So um, you would type in your digits, either from your laptop or your you know, keyboard, or you can, of course, type them in here. And notice that uh, you also have a very recent call history that appears here, which is really great. Um, so if one of these numbers qualifies as the one you really want to call back, you can just uh, double click on that and boom, it starts a phone call. Um, so just to give you a really quick sneak peek at what that actually looks like, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and you can see what a call window looks like. And this is actually going to be going to um, one of my smartphones. So just give it a second here so I can answer it. There we go. Okay, so now you can see that it's um, answered and the various options that you have, mute, hold, well, let me put that on view, mute, hold, uh, transfer, adding a call, doing for a three-way conference, um, access to your contacts, and then record, uh, recording a call. So again, in the longer, more detailed video, we're going to go through all of those steps and how to use all that stuff and how you can actually use that and interact with things like your contacts, call history, and voicemail. So it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so again, that, I'm going to go ahead and hang up here. Um, so again, that is just an overview of our web phone. Uh, please look for our other web phone videos, and thank you for your time.